Hey friends, it's back with Beautiful Miss Plans. I am here to do an August flip through in my planners and journals. Well, mine is one journal, but it's my personal journal and I don't share that. So um, anyway, we'll jump right in. So this is, right now I have the Planner Perfect Summer cover on for that matches and goes along with my um, September kit. But this was the um, Coco Daisy kit for August and so I had the black cover which is Sophia on you can see those in past videos and this is August so it was a busy-ish busy month and that was mostly because we were jumping back into the school like half of this stuff is school related things so you know there's that but this is how August looks I'm gonna flip to the first week um I kind of struggled with this kit um, more than I expected. I had trouble with the flowers. I don't really like how this turned out. I had the idea in my head and I think it would have looked better with transparent stickers because I don't love this as it is. But, um, I started doing a little bit more free flow back in, um, J July. So I was doing it where it's like you had, I broke it up by like date specific events and then to do's and then work to do's. And then before that, I did it where it was more, I followed the timeline. And now I'm doing it more where I put things in where we're going to do them or when the appointment is, and then I just work around it and decorate around. It. And I feel like this is giving me a little bit more room to play and I'm liking it a lot. So I just put my work to do because a lot of times my it's the same thing every single day. It's like orders. So just like writing it down here and then I just pull from this list throughout the week. So anyway, um, I do occasionally add pictures. My husband and I went to the movies to see Twisters this day. My parents came to watch our kids. Um, and yeah, so a lot of times like I'll write down like this uh, uh, social, six grade social was from five to 6.15. And then I needed to bring some stuff. So a lot of times, like, I'll write down a note. Um, I'll write down, occasionally I'll do things like this where I'll write down, like, a headache or, you know, just things like that. Um, and then this week, I did not use the Coco Daisy August kit. And that's because my birthday was here. And since I didn't like the August kit very much, I didn't want to use it. So these stickers are from Primrose Corner, who I don't think she's currently open, but I think she's actually selling through Lauren Phelps Designs, I think. But this kit is no longer, like these stickers are no longer available. But I've had them for a really long time, didn't have a reason to use them, and I was like, well, I'm gonna use them for my birthday. And then like the washi tape and stuff are from uh, January uh, Coco Daisy stuff. Same with like the boxes. So I always write down also, what book I finished, which reminds me I need to write down one for yesterday. And like little memories, like we started walking the year, we started off the year of school walking in the rain, which is a little funny. And then we went back to this. I don't hate this. And I think it's because I don't mind the transparent stickers in here uh, as much as I'm just not a big fan of the white stickers in my planner, I think. I like how seamlessly this looks. Um, I did try something here where I wrote down what my workouts were. I did not go back to doing that again because I found I just didn't need it in here because I keep track of it in the app that I do my workouts through. Um, and then the last week, these are all rub-ons from the Coco Daisy kit. Well, this one isn't, but the rest of them are rub-ons from the kit. And um, I like it. I, I actually, this is probably my favorite week of the bunch. And like here, I wrote down memories. So we had gone down um, over the weekend to um, a lake. And I just wrote down like the memories. Like we, we went down to the lake and then we did swimming. My kids did some paddle boarding. And we went on a boat ride. You know, things like that. So just kind of some basic jog my memory kind of memories. So that is how my planner actually worked out as far as my gratitude journal I did not keep up with it great this month and I don't hold myself accountable to like every single day I have to write if it's just not like if I sometimes I forget 
to be perfectly honest. And sometimes it's just been a bad day and I don't really want to look for the silver lining. I don't want to look for something. It's just like, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm, I'm done. So, you know, there's a mix of that this month. So I didn't do great keeping up with it, but, um, we were also trying to get back into the groove. I feel like of summer. The other thing that I did not do well keeping up with is these journaling prompts. I only got to day three. I just, um, I even decorated this and just didn't get any farther. And that's fine. It was just not my mom. Uh, next, I think I will go ahead and show you. I haven't shown this in, a, in like a month or two. I don't remember. But this is my five-year journal. This is from Sterling Ink. It is a, a five size. Um, I actually stopped showing it because I was going to try going back to like more traditional memory uh, planning because I do like that. But then I didn't do that because I just don't have pictures and I didn't want to put this pressure on me to take all these pictures. So I just went back to this and well, I mean, I was still doing this, but I just decided that I wasn't going to, um, do a regular memory planner and I was just going to stick with this. And so I haven't shown this. There's not a lot because most of this is literally just writing. My parents celebrated 45 years. So we had, um, a little anniversary party, but most of it is just writing. I decorate a little bit with whatever kit I have. And, uh, there's our date again. And I dropped stuff down first day of school, getting all three of their pictures on here. Um, sixth grade, third grade, and kindergarten. So it was kind of big years for my girls. And then I just, yeah, uh, my birthday, I did not take any pictures. Sometimes I don't even put decorations down. I just write. And I don't try to pressure myself of like, I have to fill up the entire space. Sometimes I make, I write more than others. Um, and that's okay. And then at the back, I, whatever pictures I did take for the month, I basically insert um, in my calendar so you can kind of just get a glimpse at our month and I do really like to do this I like how it looks a lot even though I didn't take a lot of pictures in August this is probably the one month that I've taken the least amount of pictures so far um, May was kind of a quiet month but I think this one takes the cake it was just um, it was just a busy month of adjusting and my kids were like at wit's end with tempers and short fuses because we were ready to get to school and done with each other. But it was overall a pretty good month. I did finish another Wooble. I told my husband I'm creating an army. This is my one, two, three, four, five, fifth one. I'm currently working on my sixth one because I'm just like addicted to them. So anyway, um, that is, oh, this goes over here. Um, that is how this has turned out. And then last I have my book journal. So I had a rough book month. Um, overall it was, I'm finally on my next page though. Uh, it was just one of those months. I did buy some books. I bought Off to the Races, Bridesmaid for Hire, The Last to Vanish, and The Only Survivors. Um, and let's get to August. I only read four books and I DNF'd one, two books, two books. It just was not a good month. Um, I don't know what my deal was this month. It just is what it is. So I read four books, a total of 1,503 pages, an average star rating of four, and I bought four books. So it, I DNF'd The Orchids of Ashthorn Hall. I just couldn't. And I DNF'd Ghost Camera, which I like this author and I read, it turned out that it was a bunch of short stories, which I did not realize. And I read the first two short stories, the one that's actually named, you know, Ghost Camera. And I read the second one and then I found that I did not care. I did not care and I did not want to read any short stories. So yeah, <laughs> it was just, it was just not a good book month. So I read um, throttled, throttled. That's a weird title. I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed it. I have not printed a book cover for this, but this is the game of retribution, which was part of the Hades saga, which goes along with the Persephone and Hades saga. Um, I'd already read this, several of the books in the series, but pretty much this one was kind of like, okay, I think I'm done. I'm done with the series. I read the last to vanish, which was 
kind of disappointing, honestly. Um, I gave it two and a half stars. It was just disappointing. And then I read X's and O's. Uh, five star, loved it. So the books that I did read, these two both got five stars. You know, this one got three and a half, this one got two and a half, and then I DNF too. So it was kind of a mix, definitely a mixed bag. And I just didn't read as much this month. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this one. And yeah, so I think that is everything. I think that's all for the month. And yeah, so I am definitely excited to be into September. I put my note back on to print my book cover. And yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.